Hi, my name is Robert Passaro, and I'm here to talk to you about our new feature called BMW Apps. The big idea behind BMW Apps is how do you get great new smartphone features into your BMW as soon as they're available. So to do that, uh, we've enabled a uh, smartphone platform, in, in this case the Apple iPhone, to integrate in our car's infotainment system and allow services to be controlled through the iDrive infotainment uh, concept. So to start BMW Apps, you go to your iPhone and you can download the BMW Connected app from the I, uh, iTunes App Store for free. You start the app, then you plug it into the vehicle where it gets charge and also a data connection to the car. And you'll see that once plugged in, it says connecting. And then in our infotainment screen, you'll see that the new features get populated and are now available to use in iDrive. Let me sh first show you our web radio function. The idea behind web radio is we give access uh, to thousands of internet radio stations for our customers. So you could be driving around New York City and li listen to your favorite Bavarian radio station, for example. Uh, you can search for station uh, by doing an A to Z search by location, by genre, and we also have uh, BMW branded stations that are available from all around the globe. Uh, for in particular, I Let's say I want to listen to Absolute 80s from the UK. Uh, what, what you're seeing right now is audio that's streamed using the iPhone's 3G connection, but it's controlled and hosted inside the, I, the iDrive uh, interface concept. You can also find uh, similar stations. You can see more station details, and you can also adjust the audio quality. So for example, if you want really high quality audio on your data plan, you can use it there. If you want a little bit less quality to, to lower your data consumption, it's also possible. And that's just one of the functions uh, that we're showing in our new BMW Apps feature. Uh, additionally, we've implemented uh, an automotive grade Facebook and Twitter interface. In this case, clicking on Facebook uh, gives you access to your Facebook account, but it's an automotive grade implementation of Facebook. And what I mean by that is, it gives you a simple summary uh, ex um, of your various posts or tweets in Twitter, uh, but it's an automotive take. So in this case, if I wanted to post some information, I don't spell it out, I can actually click on what's, your mi what's on your mind, and the vehicle presents to you uh, a number of pre-composed statements that are using real-time data from the car. So for example, I'm online in my BMW with BMW Connected. The app knows I'm in a BMW, and with one click, I can post that to my Facebook account. Similarly, <coughs> we have a, a Twitter interface that has a similar concept, where I can see tweets from people that I'm following, but also uh, automatically post uh, uh, statements that are based on real-time data. For example, it's a nice 72 degrees here in our BMW 6 Series convertible. And that's one of the sentences I have available to me to post to my, my Twitter clients. <coughs> and this is just uh, the beginning of, of features that we'll bring to BMW apps. The really great thing is that we'll be able to update the BMW Connected app over time and bring more and new interesting features to our customers. In addition to that app integration, part of BMW apps gives you access to a new feature called Plugin. <clears throat> and Plugin supports a new technology by Apple called iPod Out iPod Out allows Apple designers to present their user interface in an automotive grade environment. So what you're looking at right now is the familiar uh, iPod interface, but all controlled with the BMW controls, including the steering wheel, faceplate, and controller. But it has that familiarity that Apple users have from their iPod. So for example, I can access things like Genius Mixes, which presents a group of songs that go really well together. And if I really like this particular song or this artist, I can browse this song based on, its, on the current album it's in or the artist, or I can even start a genius playlist on that particular song. And the great thing about this is as Apple updates new features to its iPod, we get it automatically. You don't have to go to the dealership. You get these functions in your car as soon as they're available. So these suite of technologies allows smartphone features, the things that people really love to use on their smartphone, to be integrated in a, in a safe, easy to use way in your BMW. In addition to this app and iPod Out, 
We've also announced that we'll be working with premium third-party companies uh, and integrate their services into our car. And the first example of that that will be revealing very, uh, be available very soon is called Pandora. Uh, Pandora Internet Radio is a great way to get custom uh, internet radio stations uh, streaming to you um, based on your likes and dislikes. And we've done a fantastic integration that I'll show you right now. So to, to use Pandora, uh, you start the Pandora app. So by selecting Pandora, <clears throat> you can have access to all of the stations you've created over time. Um, and additionally, create new stations by searching or by genre. So, for example, if I was in the mood for some blues music, I can click Blues Essentials, and then that radio station uh, will start playing, and I can listen to it through my, my BMW audio infotainment system, easily use it while driving and having navigation information. Uh, be able to bookmark songs that I like and give it thumbs up or thumbs down and generally enjoy a great Pandora integration in your BMW infotainment system. So we're really excited about this. We think our customers will, will really have a great time with it and we look forward to announcing additional premium partners that will work with BMW Apps technology in the near future.